Over the last 10 years, the Department of Radiology at the University of Florida College of Medicine has conducted a simulation-based evaluation of radiology resident competence in critical care imaging. 243 residents interpreted this case of germinal matrix hemorrhage as one of 65 cases during an 8-hour simulated on-call shift, with a median score of 0 out of 10 and an overall average score of 2.91 out of 10. Overall, the average number of points lost out of 10 to observational discipline was 6.7. At the same time, 0.18 points were lost due to interpretive errors on the part of the residents. We define an effective report to be one of which achieves scores between 7 and 10. In terms of letter grades, this would be an A or a B. In this most missed case, 29% of residents produced effective reports. We define a report having a critical error to be one with scores between 0 and 2. In terms of letter grades, this would be an F or a D. In this most missed case, 71% of residents produced reports with critical errors. This is a head ultrasound performed in a premature infant who is one day old. This was done prior to the peanut trial. Head ultrasound demonstrated right grade one germinal matrix hemorrhage on the coronal images. The left germinal matrix area is normal. On the sagittal midline, there is again the hematoma in the right germinal matrix area. There is no extension into the ipsilateral ventricle. On the left side, there is no suggestion of germinal matrix hemorrhage. Overall, the brain parenchyma is very immature. The sylvian fissures are open. These findings are consistent with prematurity. The impression on this case is right grade 1 germinal matrix hemorrhage. The acuity rank is priority. Any intracranial bleed in the newborn should be notified, and the NICU physician taking care of the patient was immediately notified after the study was performed. <laughs>